Hey there everybody, welcome to Intermediate Guitar video number 19. In this video we're going to stick with the down tuning that I've done in the last couple of videos, but we're going to make it a little more difficult because it's intermediate, not beginner. And all we're going to do really is kind of take a similar idea to what we were fooling with in the beginner guitar video. And that is keeping the bass going on those low three strings and add a melody over top. But we're going to harmonize this melody with thirds. So this means that you're going to need to know the scale you're using pretty well and also which thirds land where. So the one chord, if we're doing D minor, is a minor third. Two chord would be a minor third, three chord major, four minor, five minor, six major. Now, remember though, that if we're using harmonic minor, that five can be major as well. We can raise that up and make it major for like cooler cadences. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can handle that five. You can make a major triad where the five lands, or you can do a tritone off of the seventh, the raised seventh, and you get a much better representation of a dominant chord. It, you get more of that in there, that resolution, but you can do it either way, and you can really add in the root in there too for that five chord. Anyhow, not to get too out in the weeds on you there, but so we'll start with just the one chord, but doing thirds. Right? Just get a feel for that. Boom around. Now that one's my favorite to add in. That's that raised seventh minor third that you're throwing in there, so it kind of feels like a diminished chord that wants to go back to one. like I just did. We kind of get a feel for moving around a shape while holding that bass line down. Another thing you can get a feel for is using that to create subdivisions for your melody up top. For example, like let's say you want to turn your melody over an eighth note. So, so quarters you've got this melody happening over top. And you you can practice that, and then you can turn it in the eighths and do something a little different. What we're gonna do over top, hopefully, I'm screwed up. Is do that, we're just gonna do hammer on pull out, or hammer on, pull offs plucking on the quarters. hyper aware that you keep that going now towards the end maybe you didn't hear it but how I knew I lost it was I never moved off the low D so I was just droning that low D which you can do too if you really like a sound of a drone in the bottom which this arguably kind of gives you that too anyhow so yeah eighth notes
practice that and get new things going. And then on top of that, if that's your quarter note, you might have to slow down a bit to do what we're about to talk about. You can just keep adding more subdivisions. So let's say you want to do triplets on top of that. You can just do this pull off thing for a while. It's pretty easy. I find most guitarists are pretty good at just pulling off three in a row. You know, you got to look out for the slop and like it is an acoustic guitar, so it's going to be much cleaner and it helps you find where the holes and like what this hand is doing. You know, am I pulling off and hitting the next string too hard? Am I getting too much extra noise? Is one note sounding way stronger than the others? It kind of helps you do that along with practice these to tech like keeping rhythm and playing a melody all at the same time and from there you can do 16th notes if you're feeling super brave you find a pattern and kind of rock it out over top while you're doing that number that's all i want to talk about in this video have a wonderful day thank you for watching